Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. We are back with more diamonds and rares as always. And starting off here, we have a melanistic whitetail. Now, I think on this account, this is the biggest mela that I've spawned in. I can't remember if on my old account, I had a bigger one or not, but still hoping to get a super rare melanistic or super rare albino one day. Maybe uh, in years to come, I'll have them all and I can do a huddle with all the super rares. That would be amazing. This guy ended up being a gold and he scored 198.70 seeing a lot more elk now on my bear grind over on silver ridge peaks which is awesome i was not for sure if this was an albino or not or just another common fur because some of them look pretty light uh, but when i went up to claim her she did end up being albino and she is my first albino female we have a new 300 and we have a new bear drink time and that is one heck of a mix let me tell you i have had a lot of fun i am grinding bears casually um, a few hundred kills into a grind and i'm focusing more on moose and whitetail right now but i jump over here when i get the chance the grind's already set up so that makes it a lot more convenient i have shot down all of my male bears that drink at night and they've moved to the daytime but something i haven't done yet is shot down all my my female bears now i'm not sure if i need to um i am spawning in rares and diamonds though so maybe that's okay this guy is a blonde and he ended up scoring 17.51 when you're doing your bear grind now in the daytime you are going to see a ton of elk which i really like personally it can be a little annoying though if they're blocking your shot so i've been shooting them down i'm still trying for a male piebald so let's go ended up getting this diamond at 498.60 I'm pretty sure that this is my second diamond so far since I moved uh, the bears to the daytime. Yeah, it's the second diamond, but the third level nine that I've spawned in. And that is, again, without moving all the females over. Let me know in the comments, have y'all shot down your males and females or just the males? This guy ended up making diamond at 23.15. And again, we have yet another level five Rocky Mountain Elk. So see, now that we're grinding bears at this time, you could get the best of both worlds. You can shoot some elk, shoot some bears and see what spawns in. What do you all think of the next great one being a Rocky Mountain Elk or even a Rosie Belt Elk? I love the idea. I think it would make an amazing great one. Either that or Mule Deer for me gets my top vote. And this guy is big. He ended up scoring 509.69. And now we have a super small melanistic moose that if it wasn't for how the light may have hit him, I would not have known that he was a mela at all. I'm still getting tiny moose spawning into my zones, but at least I still get some diamonds. So here he is. He is small. He ended up scoring 113.22. My husband and I ended up going on a hunt over on Parquet. Now, I don't hunt on Parquet a whole lot except for mule deer. And something I don't hunt at all is the black buck. So, still needed some black buck trophies. And I cannot believe what I found. Guys, this is the first one. So, I noticed that this guy was just super dark. There was no white on him. And usually, you will see some white on the black buck. So, I went over to the app, checked if melanistics were a thing. And they are. You have a cystic and a melanistic for their rares i dropped him with the 243 pistol and he was a mela awesome trophy and the coolest trophy i've gotten in a while he is a silver at 105.04 I'm so glad I did come over and hunt these guys because look what I found next right on the same lake. This is on the exact same lake, a five medium black buck, guys. First one I've ever seen. Uh, before this, I had no trophies at all in this species. That means it pays to go out, check your maps, check your drink zones, and just see what you've got going on because you really never know. These guys are a class 3 animal, so just keep that in mind when you're hunting them and make sure you use the right gun. I'm using the 243 again, but you can use the 22 250 as well. Thankfully, this guy did end up making diamond. Very first uh, diamond black buck, first one ever. And how awesome do their antlers look, guys? I think they look amazing. He ended up scoring 139.93. 
Still on Park A, searching for an albino water buffalo. I do have another uh, diamond water buffalo, maybe one or two on my old account, but this is going to be the very first on this one. And I found another level nine uh, down at the bottom right hand side of the map, but he ended up trolling me, so I was really glad that this guy made it. He scored 170.57. And there he is in the lodge. Such an awesome trophy. I still can't believe that I found him and the diamond on the same lake. Let me know in the comments. Do you all hunt over on Parque Fernando very often? And if so, what's your favorite animal to hunt over there? Hope you all enjoyed the video and thanks so much for watching.